All right, press the button. Calibrate to start. You want to calibrate it? It's going to tell you what to do. Usually it'll make some sound. There it goes. And where are we going to put this, guys? The low side. The sealant was on the high side. This goes on the low side. Now when this comes up, he's going to select 134A. Okay, so you see the button on the 134A to my right? Yep. Press that. Just connect hose, we'll open connect valve, it. and then... Right. So he's going to connect the hose to the low side. You got to open the valve. Oh, he did that. He screwed it. It's automatic on this one. It's automatic. Okay. Press the button. Press R134. And now, within 30 seconds, we'll see what's what. Then we'll print it out. And it really won't take all that long. You'll see sometimes less than 30 seconds. Now, the big thing we're looking for is different refrigerants and air. If it has other stuff in it, we're not going to recover it. We have to go to a different car. Otherwise, we would have to collect this in a different um, machine. Okay, so you got 100% 134A. Hit more, 0% air, which is good. And he has no other refrigerant. Hit print. And now you would give this to the customer. And it's that easy. Now, if it had any air, you want to tell the customer that you're going to recover the refrigerant and extra evacuation time. Because air and 134A causes hydrofluoric acid. Good. That's how you test the car. Print it out. That's how you make it.